Do you want to know the secrets architects use to dramatically lower energy bills for their clients? Well, you're in for a treat because we're about to discover not just one, not two, but a whopping nine powerful strategies. From harnessing natural light to unlocking those elusive government rebates, and even simple yet effective home upgrades that can slash your bills in half. We've got it all covered. You see, for the past decade, I've practiced as an architect right here in Western Australia, designing sustainable multi-million dollar homes day in, day out. I've rolled up my sleeves, learned the ropes, and put every single one of these strategies to the test. Stick around to the end because what most people tell you that will save you money will actually result in you burning through piles of cash. My peers will often charge a small fortune for these insights, and yet I'm giving them to you absolutely free in the hope you use this information to make a significant change to your life, improving it forever. Let's kick off with something relatively straightforward, a revelation for you. The average fridge accounts for a whopping 13% of your home's energy consumption. It's a vital point to emphasize that selecting the right appliances for your home is an absolute priority. This is precisely why architects charge to handpick everything inside a client's home. These selections pay for themselves in no time at all. You need to think of your appliances as the heartbeat of your home. Just as a healthy heart ensures a long and vibrant life, opting for energy efficient appliances ensures a thriving home with lower bills. Since we're speaking of fridges, let's take a gander at this $900 fridge, sporting an average three-star energy rating. It will set you back around $340 per year to operate. Now, let's compare that to this $1,000 fridge. It's a stellar five-star energy rating appliance. It sips a mere $82 a year to run. Here's where the magic happens. By choosing the higher rated fridge, you're looking at $158 saving in your first year's energy bill. And it keeps giving. You'll pocket an extra $258 in savings every year afterwards, all for a modest upgrade of $100. This is one of those cases where your wallet thanks you over and over again. So the choice is clear. Invest a little bit more upfront and watch your savings grow year after year. Now let's dive a bit deeper into maximizing your savings. You've probably heard the buzzword in architecture, solar passive design. There's a good reason for this hype. Picture your home as a sunflower, always turning to face the sun. Your living area should do the same. It should be designed to capture as much natural light as possible. It's like your home's very own sunflower, following the sunlight for the central glow. Now consider this. You've got 10 lights in your living area. And let's even be generous and assume they're all super efficient LEDs. If we were to run all of these lights for 12 hours a day throughout the entire year, you'd be forking out a whopping $657. Why? Because your home lacks the blessing of natural light. Now let's switch things up a little bit. Imagine the sun beaming into the same room for eight out of those 12 hours, leaving you with just four hours of artificial light throughout the day. That's a mere $219 for the entire year, giving you a delightful saving of $438. And for those that are curious about my math, I'm using a rate of 30 cents per kilowatt hour, which is pretty standard for most households here in Australia. In this example, the savings can be as simple as letting the sun do its job. And as the old saying goes, let there be light. Now let's take a closer look at an often overlooked culprit, your windows. Did you know that your windows are one of the worst performing elements of your entire home? They're like an open gateway, letting precious heat escape into the winter and unwanted heat invade your living room space during those scorching summer months. Whether you like it or not, they're going to do it. Your windows are akin to the eyes of your home, but having single glazing is like wearing a flimsy pair of sunglasses on a blazing hot day. It's time for an upgrade, just like you should throw out those cheap glasses and don a pair of high-end polarized shades. The industry's standard choice in Australia for decades has been single glazing for reasons only known to the universe. And it is time for a change. Let's put it into perspective. Double glazing may be a bit more of an investment, about 50% more to be precise. 
but the difference it makes is profound and quick to recoup. While it's a bit harder to quantify the exact numbers, double glazing can reduce your heat gain and loss by approximately 30%, translating into a substantial 30% cut in your heating and cooling bills. This upgrade might take a little bit of time to pay off, but the comfort and the savings it brings will be worth it in no time. Now, if you're ready to embark on your sustainable architectural design journey, it all begins with a well-crafted project brief. Having spent over a decade in the world of architecture, I've witnessed the power of clear and concise briefs. Without one, the project can lose direction and end up costing so much more than it should. That's why I've introduced the client's DIY architectural brief, a user-friendly template designed for you to effortlessly define your vision to your architect Yes, even if it's not me, this brief will not only guide your project, but it will also set your project apart into something truly exceptional. Please don't leave your architectural dream to chance. Head over to the website linked down below and secure your DIY brief today. Plus, as a token of my appreciation for sticking around this long, use the coupon code ENERGY to enjoy a generous 50% discount on your DIY brief. Let's move on. When it comes to energy solutions, batteries have been hailed as the future, or at least a promising alternative source. But let's dive into the controversy without getting caught up in net zero aspirations. Our focus here is strictly financial. You see, household batteries have been a bit of a financial quirk that doesn't quite align with their potential. If we compare them to their green counterpart, standalone solar panel systems, these solar panel systems boast a relatively snappy payback period typically ranging anywhere from three to six years. That's impressive, considering their warranties often span a decade and their lifespan can stretch over 25 years. If you're at home during the day, the verdict is clear. Go solar and start saving now. Don't procrastinate, time is money, and these panels can become your power garden, cultivating energy as efficiently as a well-tended garden yields fresh produce. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Batteries, they're the juicy ripe fruit you're tempted to pick because they represent the future of energy storage. However, the reality is a little bit different. You see, batteries have a payback period stretching from 10 to 13 years. Their warranty usually spans a decade and their expected lifespan falls anywhere between five and 15 years. So here's the catch. You'll likely find yourself in a never ending loop of replacing batteries before you've ever paid them off. Batteries may be the future, but for now, they're like an unripened fruit. They might seem promising, but they're just not worth the wait in terms of financial return. Stick with the solar panels for now and enjoy the immediate savings. If you find yourself in a tight financial spot, there is a good chance your government offers some form of energy rebate to assist you during challenging times. These rebates come in various shapes and sizes. They could be a direct financial relief or they might involve some sort of customized energy plan that tweaks your on-peak and off-peak rates. Everyone encounters financial hardship at some point in their lives, so don't hesitate to explore the assistance options available to you. If by any chance your government isn't extending a helping hand, don't forget that the banks often provide hardship considerations for home loans ensuring you don't face default and can manage your rising energy costs more effectively. It's like having a safety net to really help you through the financial roller coaster, which will hopefully mean you're going to be able to use hot water in your very own home. Now, choosing the right heating system is akin to selecting your preferred way of warming up on a chilly winter morning. It's all about finding the perfect balance between comfort and cost. So here's a quick breakdown of your options. Instant natural gas. You can think of it as a cozy plush blanket that wraps you with warmth almost instantly. However, like a luxurious blanket, it comes with a high price tag, about $300 per year to operate for a $2,000 system. Instant electric, on the other hand, this is like a thick warm sweater with some holes. Not as quick to warm you up, cheap, but also needs replacing. Coming in at around $635 per year, for a thousand dollar system. Finally, we have a heat pump. Imagine this as an expensive bottomless cup of tea that gently warms you from the inside, costing roughly $250 a year to operate, but the system will set you back $4,000.
Choosing the best options depends on factors like availability and whether you have solar panels or not. So it's a bit like deciding whether you'll reach for that cozy blanket or the trusty sweater, or potentially even a soothing cup of tea to start your day. If we stick with these great metaphors for a second and think of your home as a treasure chest filled with warmth and comfort, but sometimes a sneaky pirate in the form of drafts tries to steal your precious treasures, these drafts are essentially like unwanted intruders attempting to plunder through your cozy haven. Weather strips can act as a sturdy lock that keeps these pirates out, safeguarding your treasure chest of comfort. They are your trusty protectors against the unwanted cold air that creeps into your home. The best part, weather strips are affordable and a breeze to install. Just peel, stick, and you're done. You can find them at your local hardware store this weekend, or you can check the description down below for an Amazon link. By sealing every air leak, you're not only maintaining your treasure's security, but you're also potentially saving around $50 a year. It may not seem like an astronomical sum, but it's certainly enough to keep those drafts at bay. Moving on to smart blinds. These are like your home's personal assistant. They know when it's time to let the gentle morning sun in and when to shield you from the harsh afternoon rays, creating the perfect ambience. So let's talk about curtains for a moment. Did you know they're not just for blocking light and adding a touch of elegance to your home? Heavy curtains that close at night and open in the morning can play a crucial role in reducing heat loss during colder months, and they can prevent heat gain on those scorching days as well. They act as natural insulators, lessening the burden on your heating and cooling systems, which translates to potential savings of around 10%. But here's the modern twist. Curtains can be automated. This innovation provides added convenience, allowing you to customize your curtain settings based on the time of day. It's like having your curtains respond to your specific needs, providing both financial and comfort benefits. Plus, we're all busy individuals who sometimes forget to adjust our blinds. I know this is definitely me. Smart curtains eliminate human error and increase the chances of significant energy cost savings. So consider them as your home's efficient helper managing the perfect lighting conditions and contributing to a more sustainable and economical lifestyle. Finally, we move on to proper landscaping, which is like natural armor for your home. Just like a knight wears a suit of armor for protection, a well-placed tree and vegetation shield your home from excessive heating and cooling costs. If we delve into the fascinating world of landscaping, nobody would have thought that annoying tree in the front of your house, the one that drops leaves in the winter, is actually saving you money, right? Well, proper landscape can work wonders by providing natural shading to your entire home, leading to an average annual saving of around $100 in cooling costs. Trees and vegetation thoughtfully placed around your property act as a shield against direct sunlight, preventing excessive heat from penetrating your home during the warm months. And when those leaves shed, it allows that winter warmth to actually come into the home when you need it most. This eco-friendly approach not only contributes to energy savings, but it also enhances the aesthetics of your property. It's a win-win situation, except, you know, you have to clean up those leaves. Anyway, that's all from me, team. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below for more weekly content.